if you have congestion on the Garden State Parkway, is there an alternative route that you can take? Uh, and uh, that's what this is. Founder and Chief Executive Officer of Continent 8, Michael Tobin, isn't talking about vehicular traffic. He means internet traffic and is referring to Atlantic City's new secret weapon, this state-of-the-art data center that will be a hub for global connectivity spanning over 30 locations worldwide. The information technology provider licensed by the State Division of Gaming Enforcement took a year to design and build the 6,000-foot facility located in the city's convention center. Due to security reasons, the media wasn't allowed inside, but we were told the data center holds everything from storage systems to 24-7 on-site personnel, allowing a secure and reliable network for gamers to compete and spectators to bet on major events like eSports. Data is king. Uh, it's not just uh, the person walking up to the kiosk. It's people, it's going to be online, it's going to be all these issues of knowing your client. Tech, tech, tech. Everything is connected uh, to a server someplace in, in the world and where those places are, are data centers. You need alternative pathways if there's blockages, if there's uh, private uses that you need for them. Gaming being one of them because it's regulated. Uh, having a regulated uh, network becoming a bigger and bigger requirement for people. Tobin, along with his team, joined local legislators and gaming executives to discuss how the new technical infrastructure could attract tech companies and jobs to the region. The next uh, inventor of, uh, uh, of, a, of a video game might come from a student that goes to Stockton or Atlantic Cape Community College. Economic development initiatives can be promoted by having something like this. Say, you know what, we can connect you, literally, technology company, IT company, and your staffing to, to the world. And the data center isn't just for esports and gaming, it's also being used as a secure network for big companies and universities. Whether it's a hospital, an educational uh, business, and protecting the individuals who uh, are using the uh, data to, for either social or entertainment or business purposes, is so critical in the world today. Continent 8 spent $8 million building the center. Tobin says he's confident that the investment hasn't just established Atlantic City as a hub for online sports betting and gaming, but as a reason for more companies to relocate. In Atlantic City, Raven Santana and JTV News.